Hi, I'm Lori McLaughlin, Senior Editor Digital at MIT Sloan Management Review. We're here at the MIT CIO Symposium for IT and Business Leaders. At this year's conference, AI and security are front and center. But given how quickly AI tools and the large language models that fuel them are developing, it's hard for leaders to know where to focus when it comes to AI security. So we asked conference speakers and MIT CIO Leadership Award finalists to help you do just that. Here's their advice. So I think the biggest risk, it's this, right? It's the smartphone sitting in pretty much every one of your employees' hands. It's not anything that's gonna happen on, on your systems. It's silent use. Uh, one study out of the UK proved that something like a third of workers were silently using Gen AI at work. And, and that's the part that you know you can't monitor, you can't measure, and it might be actually countered to your policies. And again, Gen AI is insidious, right? You might not see how it's coming in when it's on a personal device. So that's the security risk you've really got to think about. At the top of the list for AI security should be employee training. No security program is stronger than its employees' awareness of what they need to do to participate in the security and the defenses of, the, uh, of, their, of their company's data and their intellectual property. If an employee doesn't understand the threats that come inside an organization, how they are sharing data and where it creates vulnerabilities, how AI can be used by malicious actors, then it can tear apart even the strongest security program. The AI security topic that I think should be at the top of every leader's list is data protection. Where is the data going? What other data is your data getting commingled with? Does it become part of a permanent model out there uh, in the ether, if you will? So I think data protection and access rights. So if you're asking Gen AI a model a question, how do you know that only the people that should have access to that answer are getting access to that answer? There's a variety of mechanisms in place and evolving to address this. AI use cases need to be really evaluated in context of their use, in context of their impact on humans, organizations, and processes, and an engagement of that with cybersecurity to understand which LLMs are appropriate and which use cases are appropriate for deployment to our customers or to our associates every day is an important process and really something that we need to put a lot of focus into. As Gen AI progresses, and now we're starting to see actually connecting up to speech systems, there is going to be more and, and crazier and better phishing attempts against people, employees, families, executives, everyone in every organization is going to get targeted by new, really ins insidious ways of fooling people into thinking that there's something real they're dealing with, but it's going to be a security nightmare. One aspect of AI security that needs to be on top of a leader's list right now is the issue of combining people and technology. As we build these new systems, there are lots of vulnerabilities that come into play, like hallucinations, wrong information, uh, maybe putting information out there that shouldn't be out there. But the real benefit comes from thinking about what does the technology do and what do our people do and how do we marry them together? And what are the positive aspects of that and what are the new vulnerabilities that that opens up? A little while ago, three of us wrote a fun article called From ChatGPT to HackGPT. It was saying that as much as we can do great stuff with these new tools, the hackers can also get a lot smarter and much tougher to detect. Now, when we think about what we need to do about that, the technical side, the tool vendors, the detection software is getting better, but we're, the thing that we are missing as leaders is the awareness side. We've trained people for 20 years how to recognize phishing attempts, how to think about being safe in the cybersecurity world. We have not yet, as far as I've seen, updated that training for the kind of new threats that are out there. And so the big thing that leaders should pay attention to in the cyber world is how can we update our awareness training so that people are ready to deal with this new threat environment. I think intellectual property is probably the top of the list that you need to be contemplating. And that's because these models hoover up trillions and trillions of pieces of information to create the intelligent framework 
that we interact with. And how many of your engineers have gone out and given presentations and papers at symposiums or who have uh, gone out and spoken at industry events, et cetera, a really, really well-tuned model can suck in all of that information passively, scraping it from YouTube, from the web, from other papers that have been published. And a really well-skilled user could find ways to uncover little bits of those information that were in theory privately or quietly shared, but now all the Legos for that happen to be out there.